In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of this estimation. There will be a calculation part to it, and that's based on calculating the volume of a cylinder. I'm going to do a metric and an imperial. One based on meters, the other one based on feet. So you can see both side by side. The, <coughs> the reason why it's called estimating is because trees or logs are not geometric solids. They are not cylinders. They are cylindrical at best. So trees always have bumps and bulges and ridges and uh, and and they taper from the wider at the bottom, narrower at the top. So uh, that's why uh, that's why it's called estimating. Now on a cylinder the volume of a cylinder is calculated by either r square times pi times height or if you don't like r square pi or pi r square you can also calculate volume with uh, using the diameter diameter squared times a fourth of pi or a quarter of pi times height okay now this height can also become, you know, it's height if it's a tree, it's length if it's a log on the ground. There, now it's got length. So that's that's gonna be the same thing used interchangeably in this calculation. Height if it's a standing tree. Now, uh, a couple of things about measurement, and this is why it's an estimation you can you can either estimate or measure the height or length of the tree if it's dropped on the ground it's felled then you can just pull a tape measure and you measure the length and you have a number for length that's good sometimes you don't want to do that sometimes you're uh, uh, you're uh, checking progress or forest growth and you want to estimate height and you can do that from a from a known distance you pull a tape measure along the ground and you sight the top of the tree with uh, with an instrument and that's going to give you an estimation for height so those are the two major ways of getting height now you need either diameter or you need radius well once you have radius you double it for diameter or you know once you have diameter you can split it in half to get radius but there are a couple of issues with diameter uh, first it's uh, if the tree is standing like this then you measure diameter at breast height dbh diameter at breast height is measured four foot six inches up from the ground or 1.3 meters that's where diameter is measured when the tree is standing but uh, if you do that then uh, you're gonna have to use a taper factor to compensate that this is the wide part of the tree further down here and and the tree tapers towards the top if the tree is on the ground you can measure diameter here at midpoint where the difference between the narrow end and the wide end is averaged out so that's where you take uh, a measurement for the diameter another thing about diameter or radius and I'm just gonna write it here so I can do the math here on the bottom of the sheet is uh, uh, shape okay Trees are always oval or have ridges. Those are the growth rings. Okay, they are never, they are not circular. They are not circles. They are circular, but uh, they don't quite have a constant radius or a constant diameter. Some trees at breast height have this shape. Okay, so you have a shape factor to uh, to accommodate for 
asking for the difference between a perfect circle and what you have in front of you. Typically these factors are always less than one, like 0 0.7 or 0 or 0 0.8. So that means that your diameter measurement needs to be lessened because if you measure it here, then what do you do with these voids here? You know, where you have no wood volume. So that's why shape factor and, and the taper factor are always less than one. Uh, once, uh, oh, oh, once you have your measurement taken, either half point at the log or at uh, dBH, and you figure out your shape factor and taper factor, then there is the issue of measuring actual diameter. Uh, you, you can have a huge caliper, good luck carrying it around, a huge caliper that hugs the tree and measures the width of the tree or you can measure circumference and uh, and divide your circumference measurement by pi and you're gonna get diameter out of it or you can measure diameter with a diameter tape a, a, a tape measure that instead of normal inches or centimeters it's calibrated in a way that uh, it measures when you when you hug the tree and measure around it it's gonna get you the diameter right away instead of the circumference okay so let's do a metric example here for example you go out into the woods and uh, you wrap a tape around the tree and you conclude that the circumference of the tree is 70 centimeters. Now that's nice, but this calculation is eventually going to be done in cubic meters in metric. So you're going to need to make that centimeters into meters, 0.7 meter. You need to divide this amount by pi to get your diameter. So 0.7 divided by pi equals that number 0.22 your diameter equals 0 0.22 meters and for you know what for metric I'm gonna use radius so I'm gonna chop that in half again so your radius is 0 0.11 meters but I have more digits but I'm leaving those on the calculator display for a reason because now I need to square that number 0 0.11 with the rest of the decimal digits there's the square button equals so radius is squared multiplied by pi equals whatever that number and we've got a height of the tree how about 50 meters and times this by 50 there apparently this tree has a volume of wood of 1.9 there 1.9 cubic meters so that's the end of that calculation 1.9 cubic meters okay so that's how these work I'm gonna do another one in feet and inches say and I haven't used the shape factor because that can be any any number if you have to or the taper factor because uh, then you would need to multiply your diameter or your radius with that number and that number to make it even less than what it actually is Math mathematically because everything is just multiplied radius times radius times pi times height uh, you can multiply this volume by the shape factor or the taper factor after after the volume calculation is done so you can multiply it by shape factor and taper factor after the uh, after the uh, tree is calculated as a cylinder as a geometric solid so uh, another calculation in uh, feet and inches would be say you take a measurement uh, nah, this way on a log how about that one you take a measurement at midpoint and you determine that 
the circumference of the log is 27 inches how about that number you want to get diameter out of it so you want to divide this by pi to get diameter 27 inches divided by pi equals 8.59 inches inches that that means inches now that's nice but uh, you're gonna need to make cubic feet out of this so everything needs to be in feet so grab this number or the original circumference measurement whatever you like and you have to divide it by 12 before you go much any further so divide it by 12 0 0.7 foot plus the decimal change I'm leaving the numbers purposefully on the calculators display so the same diameter is 0.716 FT feet there but once we have it I'm gonna use this formula here we're gonna square it like so equals that number we're gonna multiply it by pi again and that number divide by 4 that number and multiply it with the length of the felled tree how about uh, 50 feet this time so the length is 50 feet so just times this by 50 equals 20 cubic feet so the volume of this thing is 20 cubic feet if you want instead of cubic feet if you want board feet after this then uh, you times this one by 12 because in a board foot a board foot is one twelfth of a, of a cubic foot so uh, times it by 12 equals 241.7 board feet volume in board feet equals 247 footboard measure there you have it so that's how this tree calculation goes one in metric one in imperial and this is why it's an estimation but it's also a calculation